Hi Catholic Lady, it is so exciting to be speaking about one-to-one -one discipleship with you. You might recall that before Christmas we looked at the whole area of whole life discipleship and then we have just concluded now this study, this series on fruit of the spirit. You know God wants us to bear much fruit. Put simply, he wants us to grow as people, to change, to move from the people that we have been to the people he wants us to become. And so he wants us to understand more about our faith, to gain new freedom and wholeness, and to perhaps leave behind some of those uh, thought or behaviour patterns, those destructive thought or behaviour patterns that, that maybe have been with us and held us back and we know that we're just not sort of getting beyond them and God wants more um, for us than that and of course he wants us to grow as we've been looking at recently in things like patience and kindness, uh, goodness, gentleness, self-control, love. Okay so at um, Kappa Galeda, the leadership team, we are convinced that one-to-one -one discipleship, this idea of, of you coming alongside one other person that you can um, learn from and study with together, as Katie was um, sort of explaining last week, we believe that that is just one of the best ways of making disciples. It's not the only way, and it is a tool. Um, but it is one of the best ways we believe. So, how is that going to work? Practically speaking, um, yeah, what are we suggesting? Well, first of all, I think it is worth noting that this is something that um, you have the responsibility for. If you are being discipled, as Katie mentioned, didn't she, last week, that it is your responsibility to be committed to this and to make it happen and um, yeah it's a journey that you go on so secondly <laughs> this is a journey it's not a quick fix and it's not a program it's something that you are choosing to do for a time and so that is the third the third thing there that this is a choice that you are making that you're saying to God yeah God I, I want to grow I want to grow as a person I know there are things that um, I want to learn from and I want to just some have somebody else alongside me who I can be accountable to because I want to see that kind of transformation and follow Jesus so what are some practical pointers then to give you? Well, the first thing I would say is it's a great idea to set expectations. You know, if you set off on this journey and you don't really know what you want from it, that's going to be a whole lot more difficult. But um, set expectations as well around practical things. How often are you going to meet and where? And um, in terms of period of time, we would suggest three months. That's neither too short, whereby you don't perhaps get anything established and not the relationship um, established, but also nor is it too long in terms of being able to maintain that um, with different things that people have in their life. So three months seems like a reasonable kind of time. And yeah, then next, let's get practical. What, what next from now? So we have got these little booklets. You maybe have already got one uh, where you are today um, or maybe they're going to be given to you right now. But we have produced these to help you with this journey. Um, and this is yours to keep. Even if you decide, well, actually, no, this isn't the right time for me. Put your name on it. Keep it because the right time 
might be in a few months, later in the year, whatever that might be. But we're going to give you some time after this video has finished to, to just take some moments to reflect, to ask God, well, what are you saying to me about this right now? And so the next thing is, I would love you to go and sign up on the sign up sheets over there afterwards. Um, the reason for this is that we would love to just know who is, is going on this journey so that we can be praying as a leadership team and that you know, actually as well, that we know does not make sense. So if you want to come and say, actually, this isn't working or I'm finding this hard, that that's an easy just call or chat um, and we can help and support in any way that we can. Um, so, yeah, I'm the person to speak to or John Bradbury or indeed anybody else on the leadership team will be able to point you and support you in that. So next you need to find a discipler and that might already be obvious to you. You might already be in a, a sort of relationship where you pray with somebody or you might be thinking, I know exactly who, who would be great to ask um, that you can relate to that maybe you've connected with already. Um, but equally, you might not know and that's okay. Um, you just come, 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 come and ask and we will help to match you up with somebody. Um, if you're just, yeah, really committed, yeah, I want to do this, but I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure who to ask. Or you've got more questions, just come and ask as well. And so, yeah, the next thing to do is arrange your first meeting. Um, when is that going to be? And, um, and get started. And in terms of getting started, I would suggest keep it simple. You know, you don't have to go for any really deep uh, searching questions to begin with. Keep it um, along the lines of your relationship with God. Um, how is that? What is God speaking to you about at the moment? Who or what are you praying for? These are some other things that your disciple could be asking you. The same ones, even each week, it doesn't have to go deep um, straight away. Of course, if you want to, there's lots and lots of ideas for that in, uh, in the booklet as well. Of course, this might not be the right time for you, and that is fine. Um, but it might be that you've been listening uh, to this and over the last few weeks and you think, Actually, I could be somebody coming alongside. I could be a discipler and I'm really happy and keen to do that. So if that's you, we would also love for you to uh, sign up on those sheets so that we know um, that we've got people committed and keen to be disciplers. That would really be helpful to us as a leadership team. So that is just about it. There are frequently asked questions in here. There are top tips. And as I said, um, there are lots and lots of questions around areas of life, areas of discipleship that you can ask. There is also some handy um, space um, there to put notes down. So either if you are discipling or being discipled, things that may be occur to you in the week, uh, or if you are a discipler, maybe prompts for further questions in your next session. So this is your living thing, sort of little booklet. Keep it, use it, and I hope that uh, those of you who embark on this get so much from it, and um, it is uh, a fruitful time for you. Thank you.